are very lucky to be joined now by one of the career astronauts chosen, Frances Sophie Adenau. Sophie, tell us a bit about your background. I gather you're a, a pilot and you've had plenty of flying experience. This is your first time in space, though. So, yes, I'm um, originally an engineer and also a helicopter test pilot. I flew 3,000 flight hours and 22 different helicopter types. And I'm um, also a career officer from the French Air and Space Forest. And is this something you have always wanted to do since you were a young girl? Oh, yes, I, I dreamt of it as a little girl, um, sitting on the knees of my grandpa. And uh, clearly it all has evolved thanks to an amazing uh, school teacher and amazing family as well, who gave me the support and, and self-confidence enough to go through um, all the process of um, like starting a career in science and technology and, and then later becoming a test pilot and then later applying to this um, selection process. So tell us, what are the next steps? How do you go about preparing uh, for this career as a career astronaut? So the next step for us is to go back to school, basically. We have a new, a completely new uh, job to learn uh, alongside with uh, the class of uh, 2009 astronauts uh, who will help us understand uh, what to expect. Uh, so it's going to be about a year of basic training. And then for some of us, there will be mission assignments. And I think the, uh, the next flight opportunities might come not before 2026, although nothing has been decided yet. And do you have a preference of uh, whether you'd like to go to space or a particular, or Mars or the Moon? Or <laughs> well, I think for uh, for us young astronauts, we'll still have to learn the basic skills, and the best way to learn the basic skills is to go to lower Earth orbit, so to the ISS first, and, and then we'll see. Of course, we all dream of the Moon and, and the rest of the missions, but uh, we need to learn the job basically first. I'm guessing you welcome this new batch of recruits. It's, it's much more diverse, more women, and indeed a, uh, a para-astronaut. Uh, what can be done to encourage more people to think of this as a career? Well, I think um, just... Um try to, to go and follow the path of inspiring people. Uh, this is why I'm here today. I always follow the path of uh, uh, inspiring people from very diverse backgrounds. Now we're um, a crew, a team, uh, the 2022 class of Reserve and Korea astronaut with a great variety of profiles. And uh, we're going to be very happy to, to give some inspiration also to everyone, especially the young generation. Okay, well, congratulations to you, Sophie Adeno, and good luck with that uh, future career.